do that. Of course he there's is. There's nothing yeah. illegal about his stick. That yeah, doesn't look like there's going to be a penalty call or anything, but what, is he not allowed to go to the bench and do it? Uh, yeah, is it that he left the crease during the stoppage without getting the ref's permission first? Oh. It could. I know there are rules about when the goalie can go to the bench. Eagles are getting a late change here. And now Benson has to go to the bench again. And now he's taking off his mask. And now Alex Horoski has to go in. No, I think he's just or getting his uh, Horoski's mask. He's doing stuff with his equipment here. Yeah. Okay, so maybe there's a loose strap on Benson's mask or something. That I love when we have to speculate like this. This is why I wish we had a microphone down there. We'd know what the controversy was. But yeah. uh, I'm not sure if it's... Is, is there something wrong with Benson's mask? Well, I, they're they're going to make him use Alex Ross. What is... Now Benson's going into the bench. And it I, looks like Alex... Oh, it's Ar something to do with his pad. And yeah, Horoski's coming in. Oh. So the bandits are being forced to change goaltenders here. Maybe because of the equipment issue for Benson. And they don't think it can get fixed quickly enough. So the bandits have to make a goaltending change. I have never seen that before. Yeah. Wow. That is really, really odd. But I, I couldn't tell you why, folks. Uh, Benson's being attended to down here on the bench. And they'll give Horoski a bit of time to get set, which is fine. But in the meantime, the face out's going to be to now Alex Horoski's right in the banded zone. And it's win the draw. And Kale McCarr now fires it off the far glass and bounces all the way down to the Canmore zone. This has got to suck if you're Alex Horoski in a, a one-goal game. You're forced to come in cold. Left corner, Foo now in the Canmore zone. Put it to the slot, missed his man. Dondre Watson is back there for Canmore. Puts it right wing side and falls. Carries over the bandit line. And down to the half wall. Uh, tied up by McCarr. Hooks McCarr as he tries to exit the zone. Still recollects, does McCarr. And carries in down the middle. Flicks it back to McKechnie at the blue line. He can only poke it down to the right sideboards. And Pauls takes it away for the Eagles. Now Kyle Pauls puts it up the right wing side. And here is Jesse Sheen. Put it to the bandit line. Sasana took it away. Dropped it off Huebner. Flung it up the middle. Missed his man. It goes all the way down. And that's icing there against Brooks. And this is going to be an extended break for Mitch Benson here because Amy Mauser's trying to find, oh, she needs the key to get in the room. And so the trainer's running around trying to get the key because she needs something for uh, Benson's equipment. And uh, is it? I can't tell. Is it his mask? Is it his pad? I'm not. Yeah. This is one of the most mysterious things that has happened during a Bandits game. Folks, in case you're just joining us, the Bandits have been forced to make a goaltending change because of an equipment issue to Mitch Benson. They have a 2-1 lead here in Canmore over the Eagles, and Alex Horoski has had to come in cold. Uh, Bucks battle for here at the right half boards. Pops free to Hamilton in the Bandits zone. Got it left point. Vervita blast. Club save. Horoski through his screen, and he holds on for a whistle stopping play. And they're being six foot five helps out a little bit too. 13:47 showing on the third period clock. Two one bandits still to score. Yeah, this is uh, some sort of thing that. Uh, so I'm assuming it's a strap of some sort that uh, that he's not being allowed to play with. So I don't know where the ref picked that up. Anyway, Alex Arasi comes in, makes a good stop on a, a long shot, stays with the puck. So interesting. Off the draw, mid blue line shot by Vervita, saved through a screen by Horoski's pad that time, and the bandits recollect. Marchand got it to Pankowitz at his own blue. Spun to the eagle line. Tice carries in left wing. Put it across to a wide open trailer. Vachon oh. shoots and he rang the post and it deflects out of play. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, that would have been nice. Oh, <laughs> well, a little support, but a couple good stops by Alex Orosky there. And, yep. uh, you know, that's uh, it's so nice that, um, you know, when he's, these young guys, they can come in and they're, you know, a guy like me, if I had to come in three quarters of the way through the game, I'd probably seize up. So, you know, he's yeah. uh, coming in and uh, ready to go. He's looking to the bench, but they're trying to, something is, and Ryan Papuano, a former goaltender, is um, uh, trying to work on uh, the equipment as well. So all hands on deck. And, yeah. uh, Don't another say Ryan Papuano doesn't earn his keep here yeah. at the Bandits organization. Coach He'll team. do emergency equipment repair if he yeah. has to. His first year as the head coach, don't forget, he was also the trainer in equipment repair. He would do the equipment repair. Left half board shot, tipped by the Eagles, but never got through in on Horoski on the deflection at the top of the crease. Here's Tisdale, left half board's headed poke free. Chow the other way for Brooks. One hands it to the red line, chase it down himself. Three on two. Chow carries in, turned it over, but recollects left half board. Chow put it down low to Perkusik at the end wall. Flung it around, right corner to Mappin. Headed it right point to Renda. Holds it. Vinny Renda put it down the dasher behind the net. It rolls to Mappin, skating left corner. 
Mappin still with it. Skates left half wall. All the way to the high slot. Turns and shoots. It's blocked by Hamilton. Will collect for Canmore and start up ice. Hamilton jammed it ahead. Soretsky carries over the bandit line. Three on two. Soretsky dropped it on left circle. Tisdale shoots. Saved by Horoski. And he holds on for a whistle stopping play after the butterfly stop, with just over seven minutes gone in this third period. Yeah, and uh, Alex Horoski's dad has uh, been, uh, he's, he's from Ontario and he's been with the team. Uh, uh, since the new year as he stayed, so it's kind of nice. He gets to see Alex get a little bit of action here in Canada. Yeah, three so. saves, and now he's back to yeah. the bench, and Mitch Benson's back on the ice. And what a sport Alex Roski is. He gives uh, Mitch Benson a high five and a, a real good job there. And uh, uh, I don't know if this game ends up a 2-1 game. We might have to give Alex Roski a start. Yeah, <laughs> fair point. <laughs> it's pretty key. Pretty uh, 